currently $185,000 with 10 minutes to post time. <laughs> the eighth. Okay. It's right here. Okay, Uncle Mike's number three and Daddy's number four. Well, now where are we gonna go? To the box first. Yeah. Sit right there because I want to sit here. Um, I'm only sitting here because I believe this is my new good luck seat. And this has really? been my but if he loses, I'm gonna move into one of your all sins. <laughs> Thank you. Good, how are you doing? Yeah. Could I get, hi, could I get corned beef on white? Thanks, y'all have a good one. Here, Mads. Hey, how, I'm great, how are you doing, Marietta? It's very nerve wracking for me to watch, especially when it's a track like this, because I just get so nervous that any horse can slip or anything can happen. And so it's an, even on a nice track, a good track, I get very nervous. But then when you add this element in, I just get really nervous. No, baby, we're going to scare the horses. You got to put your umbrella down out here. I know other people have it, but you are not allowed to. What? We're gonna walk all the way there, but that would be a good problem to have. They're coming. Here comes Gary. Go give him a. <laughs> Hi, sweet pea. The funny thing is, is he's so like, like if he's, like other than like not talking to people today or, or yesterday on the phone, like other than that, he's so calm. But he's very like, yeah, which I think is confidence. I we all hope he wins big. So look at his goggles. See, he's got all those goggles. He's got eight layers. All right, let's go to the box. <laughs> you guys are so cute. Hey, how are you? Okay, you're the favorite again. Okay. Not that that means. Oh, God. Oh, I hate this. Four. Oh god. oh god. I hate this. <laughs> More spirit, dancing candy away quickly. Denman's Cole's going to ease off the pace in the early stages. Uncle Lino and I and Bob are showing plenty of early interest. It's dancing candy. Oh god, come on. Oh! I hate when he goes inside. As they turn for home in the million dollar Santa Anita Derby and Exaggerator has gone straight past the square. Take it away. Exaggerator. Exaggerator. An absolutely brilliant victory in the Santa Anita Derby over more spirit Uncle Lino and Danzing Candy Fourth. Mommy. Yeah. We came in second place. I know, baby. In second, you beat Dancing Candy. Stop. What? Mom, is everything okay? Yeah, baby, everything's good. I don't know. I'll, I'll be anxious to talk to him tonight and see his take on it because my impression is I'm not a horsewoman, so my impression on it's probably very different than his. He might come out of it very happy. Um, so. It'll be interesting to see what his thoughts are on it. You know what, I think it's a little bit different for the Kentucky Derby when you talk about jockeys and their nerves, but at the same time, Gary always told me this story that Shoemaker told to him, which you'll probably know this story with Shoe, that he said, you're gonna hear my old Kentucky home and go ahead and get emotional, but as soon as that song ends, like you better be in game mode and you better like forget about it. And I think that a lot of the good jocks, like that's why they're at the level they are. They can turn it on and off and they can get in game mode. So I'm sure that during the day there's a high nerve level, but then I think that's kind of what differentiates some of the jocks from others. And that's why I think you have like big money riders versus others. Like some can handle it and some can't. But then again, you have to have the horse under you to get the job done. <laughs>